Alright, in this video here, I'm going to show you how to use Wetris font for endless customization opportunities within this single typeface. So Wetris is just one typeface, but it has all these crazy different letters that can fit together like puzzle pieces. So to understand how that happens, you gotta understand the name Wetris. It's wet because all these letters kind of look like spills, like puddles. Hence wet. And then they all fit together like Tetris pieces. It's the most clever naming you've ever heard. Wet, Tetris, bada bing, bada boom. So, to use this font, all you have to do is select the type that you want and go to Wetris. And you can see automatically what is happening here. This T in between the E and the R is fitting nice and snug. This S is fitting nice and snug under this I. I can type Wetris. I can type harbor and you can see something kind of happened. Instead of everything fitting together nice and snug, it just typed harbor. So what can we do about this? The way that Wetris works is it uses contextual alternatives. And how to access that in Illustrator is through the open type little panel. If you don't have the open type window already set up, it's easy to find. You just go to window scroll down to type and select open type and then with this open type window with your text selected you want to make sure that this contextual alternatives box is highlighted now with this box highlighted you can make all kinds of crazy combinations so I have harbor here going on no matter what I type harbor is cool and then I can type in cool again and if I change the first letter of this cool down here, you can see if I highlight it, it'll bring up a box of different options. And let's say I just choose this one. You can see that the rest of the word changes depending on the letter. Awesome. Now you know how to use Wetris. Now, this being a bit more of an advanced typeface, you might run into issues. And I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot real quick. The main thing is that you want to make sure contextual alternatives is turned on. And then that will make sure that as you're typing, the letters fill in properly. Now you may run into another issue is uh, with style sets. If you have certain style sets turned on. So let's say I have style set uh, 5 turned on. Now as I type, you can see all of the letters they take on this same kind of slant. There's not a fun variety. And that is because all of the letters in style set 5 have this slant to them. So you want to make sure that as you're typing that uh, contextual alternatives is turned on and that there are no check marks by any of these style sets. If you have those two things as you type then automatically it should just be filling in with uh, crazy letters that all fit together. So now that you know how to use that in Adobe Illustrator, I'll just show you real quick in Photoshop and InDesign where to access the open type features of contextual alternatives. So in InDesign, there isn't its own dedicated window. Instead, you go to the character panels, you click this hamburger menu, you go to open type features here. Oh, and I gotta make sure my text is selected open type features, make sure contextual alternatives is checked and that none of the style sets are checked and then it should work fine. In Photoshop it's similar there's no dedicated window to house open type features instead if you have your text selected you go to the regular character panel there is a little button down here with a little O that you can have clicked or unclicked. So there you have it. That is how you use Wetris typeface.